Hey everybody, Tom Abuthnot. I'm at Contact Centre Expo in London and I'm on the Audio Code stand and just catching up with Peter. Peter, do you want to introduce yourself and your role? Yeah, sure. Uh, so my name is Peter Brooks, responsible for the Contact Centre Solutions in EMEA at Audio Codes. So working with end customers, partners and uh, CX vendors. So this is like your show, your people. What? Let me. Let me help me understand, like there's, there's a hundred vendors here. Where do audio codes play in this contact center space? What's the solution? Uh, well, it, it's a great question. Everybody asks me, what do you do in, the con in contact center space? It's actually, and I tend to say it's, it's like, everybody knows Intel inside. Yeah, well, it's audio codes inside. So typically <laughs> we're under the hood, helping a lot of those contact center providers provide the best possible solutions. So, and that's about, it depends a bit on which vendor you work with, yeah. but or you talk about, but it's the on-prem guys. A lot of people go like, okay, I've got an on-prem solution. Do I need to move to the cloud or can I add something on top of it? No, you don't need to move to the cloud. You can still stay on-prem and add innovation on top of it. So you add some cloud smart to the traditional on-prem thing. Yeah, too. exactly. So, and that can be, let's say, uh, uh, things like click to call. Instead of having a number to dial, a 1-800 number, I've got a click-to-call button on my iPhone, on my mobile app, or on the web browser. Just click it, get into the contact center. So you do like VoIP WebRTC on one yeah, end, exactly. and you bring it to the traditional contact center. Exactly. Like, and then other stuff, and that's probably what you talked about with Patrice, is anything about voice automation. Yeah. Um, adding automation into those traditional on-prem contact centers. So it's not just the cloud contact centers that can bring this automation first, it's also the on-prem guys that we can actually connect into all those bot frameworks. And who, what are you finding in the market? Is it enterprises coming to you who have a solution who are looking to layer you on top? Or is it partners who are taking you to the conversation? How's it working from a market perspective? Well, it's actually the two. So at Audio Codes, we talk a lot with end customers. So we do talk to them, but typically we transact through partners. Yeah. Uh, and it's also those partners coming to us asking, hey guys, we've got a complex solution, someone's on-prem, they need to move to the cloud, can you guys help us out from a technical perspective to make this actually happen? So it's, it's the two that we, that we have. And what would you say is the, the top use case, the top driver at the moment that's making people kind of say, yes, we're going to add audio codes to our existing contact center? Um, it's, on the one hand, it's that, that automation part. Yeah. So automation first, and trying to add voice to that automation. So that's one. And two, anything that has to do with click to call and WebRTC. Right. Both on the, well, let's say consumer and the agent side. That's the two hot topics in the market today, for us at least. And if people want to find out more, where do they start? Um, Audiocodes.com. So on our website, we've got lots of material in there. YouTube, Jay is producing lots of videos so we get some content on, uh, on that. And otherwise, you can find me on LinkedIn and uh, reach out to me. Awesome, thank you, Peter, I appreciate it. You're welcome, thanks, Tom. Cheers.